Ja. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Anatelli Center. My name is Brian Felt, the Director of Athletics here at St. Peter's. And uh, this is an exciting day for not only our university, but also our athletic program. I want to begin with a special welcome to all of our university faculty, staff, and administrators who are here today, along with members of our Board of Trustees, our Athletic Committee, who have, uh, are here in attendance. I also want to thank many of our fans, Peacock Nation members, and most importantly, our student athletes are here today. Our men's basketball team is seated over here, and I want to thank them uh, for all of their patience uh, throughout this entire process. We all know, and we talked about it before, that transition is, is, is something that is never easy. But this is a tremendous group of young men who represent our university in, in just an absolute great light. Uh, and I know they're excited, just like we all are, for the next chapter of St. Peter's basketball. I want to specifically uh, acknowledge our Vice President for Student Life and Development, Dr. Anthony Skavakis. Uh, I thank Dr. Skavakis for all of his support throughout this process. To begin our program, I'm going to begin by introducing our President, Dr. Eugene Kornakia. He is the 22nd President of St. Peter's University. Before being appointed President in October of 07, he has served at the University as a Professor, a Dean, Provost, Vice President. His leadership and commitment in helping us find our new head coach plays a pivotal role in the future of our athletic program. Please join me now in welcoming President Kornakia. Well, thank you, Brian, and good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to St. Peter's University. Today is an exciting day for the university as we prepare to welcome a new member to our Peacock community. The St. Peter's athletic program has a proud history and a continued focus on academic rigor, a winning attitude, community spirit, and service to others. Today, we are adding a new chapter to our history. With his outstanding experience as a Division I coach and student athlete, Shaheen Holloway is the perfect fit to take our men's basketball program to the next level. This choice further solidifies our deepened commitment to the future of the St. Peter's athletic program as a whole. This is truly a great moment for St. Peter's, for our student athletes, and everyone who supports our program. I am confident that Shaheen will help set a new and exciting course for our Division I men's basketball team. Let's go Peacocks! Thank you. Thank you, President Kronakia. It was merely a, a short two weeks ago that we were actually all here gathered uh, for another press conference to announce our head coach for our women's basketball pro program, Mark Mitchell. And on that day, two weeks ago, we sent a message to the entire Peacock Nation and that we were committed to bringing in talented, hungry, and passionate coaches to help lead our student athletes and take our department to new heights. Today, we are opposed to have that same amazing opportunity and to send yet another message. As we set out to find our next leader for our men's basketball program, it was critical that we find someone of great integrity, who possessed a tireless work ethic, and who most importantly would fit into our renewed culture of excellence within St. Peter's Athletics. We had an extensive pool of qualified candidates, but one quickly checked all those boxes. As you know, we certainly didn't have to look far, and I certainly had a, I've known him for a long time, but what was clear was that we had found someone who had displayed a track record of success as a player, as a coach, and a recruiter at the highest level of college basketball. And at the end of the day, Coach Holloway brings a passion for impacting student athletes and helping them become successful on and off the court. It was apparent that it was his time to lead a program, and he just needed that right opportunity. I couldn't be happier that that right opportunity is right here in Jersey City with St. Peter's men's basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute privilege to welcome and introduce 
our new head men's basketball coach, Shaheen Holloway. this um i'll take this off man. today is like a, a bittersweet day for me um this morning my uncle died so there's a lot of emotions going on in me right now so uh, if everybody will can you please bow your head for a second for the moment of silence to my uncle thank you i'm gonna get through this don't worry about it i'm gonna get through this uh, this is an unbelievable day. First off, I want to thank Dr. Kalagia, uh, Vice President Savakis, and also Head AD, my man Brian Felt, for this amazing opportunity for me to come here and uh, represent Peacock Nation. I'm very, very excited. This is a uh, long time coming. I prepared a long time for this. Uh, so, so many things that's going on in my mind right now, I want to say. But at the end of the day, I had a, a, speech, a speech, but everybody know me. I speak from the heart, so I'm not going to talk about no speech right now. This is really not about me. This is about these student athletes right here, the team. I'm here to try to guide these guys, not just on the court, but also in the classroom and also in life. And I, I really appreciate Brian taking the time to, you know, uh, really pick my brain. We had about five, six meetings, something like that. Five or six meetings, and um, at the end of it, Sometimes in life, you got to really believe in yourself. And that's what I did. I believed in myself. I chose myself. For the first time in my life, I was being selfish, and I wanted to take this opportunity to become a head coach. I worked hard for it. Um, I know I'm ready. Um, I got my family behind me. And then everybody said you got to have a strong woman behind you. And my wife, Kim, has been very strong, and, and my son, X, and he's the, the biggest fan. And about, I said, about 15 years, I'm going to be recruiting him, too. Right, big fella? Yeah. I got my brother here. I got my sister. I got my daughter. My mom is late as usual. You know, so many people I want to thank. First, I want to thank the entire Seton Hall family. Seton Hall has been great to me. Been a part of Seton Hall since 96. It's a very, very long time. You know, I want to thank Pat Lyons for uh, talking to me a lot, trying to get me prepared for this, for this moment. Him and I have a lot of talks in his office, and he said, you know, when you're ready, you're going to know you're ready. And I'm ready. So, Pat, thanks for all that. I really appreciate it. Uh, Coach Willer is not here today. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. We got three guys that's at the uh, Portsmouth Invitational. So he's out there supporting those guys. So I'm very proud of him for being out there. But he taught me a lot, not just about basketball, but about the game of life. So I want to thank him. There's a lot of coaches in, that's in the stands that a lot of high school coaches, a lot of AU coaches, I hope you guys can answer your phone now, because I'm going to need you. All right. I want to thank Chris Chavannis, the head coach of St. Pat. He not only a mentor, he's kind of like a father figure to me. When I was 14 years old, I came to Jersey, and he was the first guy that really believed in me, not just on basketball, but also in life. Taught me a lot. You know, he didn't really care about me being a basketball player. He cared about me the person. So, Chris, I want to thank you. Appreciate that. See, Coach Nick Manuel over there at Hudson Catholic. Nick, you owe me a player, man. Like, come on, man. Enough is enough. Now, but Nick gave my first job of coaching at Bloomfield Tech. And I was very fortunate to coach one of the best players that ever played at St. Peter's. That's Wesley Jenkins. He's sitting over here, too. You guys don't know Wesley? It's Peacock Nation, man. Right? Wes, I thought you told me a lot of people know you, man. Oh, yeah, my man. Yeah, one of my favorites over here, too, is Sean Dwight, man. 
it's funny because I sent him to Iona, we sent him to Iona, we sent Wesley to St. Peter, so it kind of worked out for the best, right, Ron? There's a lot of people here that I want to thank. I mean, the whole entire Seat Hall family, you guys have been great. There's too many names out there, but everybody in the stand that's here, the women's basketball administration, all you guys have been terrific. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I spent a lot of hours with you guys and grinding and grinding to get to this point. And I'm just tremendous. I'm really, really happy for your support, and thanks for coming out tonight. I mean, today, I really appreciate it. All the people I work with, Coach Hill is over there. Me and Coach Hill got a long, long, long history. He was my coach when I was at Seton Hall. Then I started being his boss. How great is that? It's a great thing, right? Is Grant Bill my here? Big Grant, you got to hold it down, my man. All right? Leave it in your hands. Take care of my guys for me, all right? Coach Kenny snuck in the back door. Kenny Pantera, great man right there. A lot of respect for him. Did a lot of things for me. A lot of Seahawks players on the sideline. Big time RJ Bell, you here, man? My man Dre. Charlie Bella. That's my guy right there. I'm very sad right now because a player I left behind at Seahawks is really like my little brother. He's like my son. And I'm glad that he came here today to show support. Miles, what's up, baby? You good? You're going to be good, all right? And everybody else that's here. Ex-player John Morton, Marcus Toniel, Kyle Smythe, Kevin, Charlie, Ryan Wellen. I see you, AD. I'm not going to hold you, all right? But there's a lot of people that, you know, I, I really want to thank, and um, this opportunity is great. I, mean, I really, I can't express how happy I am right now. You know, I'm, I'm happy to take the next step in my journey. Really, I talked to the players yesterday. We had an unbelievable time. We had a good workout. Hope these guys understand the journey that's ahead of them. And once again, it's not about me. It's about these guys. And I'm really excited, really happy. And I want to thank everybody for coming out this afternoon and really spending this time with me. And go Pirate, be the Nate. Oh, Pirate. Wow. <laughs> 96, it's been a long time, man. All right. Forgive me. Peacock Nation, I'm, I apologize. Wow, how about that? I'm taking it from you. Uh, Shout has to understand, I did, almost did the same thing in my press conference. We, I was there since 97. I got it right, though. You didn't, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a great day. Shaheen's going to take uh, a couple questions, um, and then he's probably going to do some media off to the side. Um, but I think we're going to do a few questions in Hamilton. I'll start that up. So if you have a question, just raise your hand. We have people that will give you a microphone. Say your name and your affiliate, and then ask your question to Coach. Shaheen, Jerry Carino from uh, Connect, New Jersey. Congratulations. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, you kind of almost answered this question with your last comment there, but what's it like for you after spending most of your adult life at Seton Hall to make this transition? How difficult was it leaving that place, and, and what have you learned from there most that's going to help you here? Um, it was very difficult. Um, I went to Seton Hall as a little boy. I left as a man. Uh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot of values. I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of what not to do, which is very important as well, um, what to do. I think um, everything I learned there is going to help me out over here. So it was an easy transition for me. I mean, I'm sad that I left, but at the same time, I'm excited about my new beginning. Hi, uh, Juan Nortez, New Jersey Radio Exchange. So Juan. And we've known each other for a long time as well. But uh, in uh, being among the city, New York City, your name carries quite well among the high schools there. And it seems like with your past and your network and with Brian Felt here as AD, it seems like the ceiling is wide open for St. Peter's. Is that what you two guys are looking to be able to bring to St. Peter's? Well, I have to tell you the truth. I was very impressed with um, Brian's passion, um, Dr. Skavaka's passion. I mean... Everybody here has been great. You know, I've only been here for two days, but everybody's been great. Um, I believe in what Brian's going to do here. That's one of the reasons why I came over here with him. Um, I trust him. I know him for a long period of time. But not just that. You know, I came here. You know, I, I did a lot of study with the players. I watched Synergy. And I think these guys got a very good team, a very good core coming back. So I was very excited about that. And then the opportunity of just, you know, like I said before, right now I'm doing it for me. You know, and uh, I spent a lot of time as an assistant. And I'm, I'm ready to take that next jump. Thank you. I'm Mr. Holloway. 
My name is uh, Eric Lesser, and I'm a student of journalism at St. Peter's. And I just wanted to ask, uh, you mentioned a long journey coming up to this point. And I was just curious, what what gave you the indication that you were ready for this, this new challenge, this new coach position? I have to thank um, Coach Willard for that. You know, being with him for 11 years, he gave me a lot of leeway, a lot of, you know, he gave me a lot of a long rope to pretty much do what I need to do to get ready to, the, to get here to this position. Um, every day grinding out with players, recruiting, X and O's, all those things, and being an X player. So sometimes you just got to understand that when you're an X player, you kind of know what you want to do and how you want to do it, and that's going to help me with my journey as well. Okay. Thank you. You finished? Nice. Any more questions? Hey, Coach. My name is Joseph Basile. I'm also a journalism and communication student here at St. Peter's. Um, according to statistics, St. Peter's has lost eight consecutive games to Iona since 2015. And as the new head coach, can you guarantee at least one victory against them this year? Right away, huh? Jeez. <laughs> Come here, Steve. I said, right away, you beat me right in the head. I'm, I'm going to let my players answer that. Cam, come here. Let's go, buddy. Steve. Go. Oh, let's see. Come on. <clears throat> Did y'all hear the question? Yeah, I heard you, it. You heard the question? Yeah. You guys want to answer that? Yes. Yeah. Let's get it. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, we feel like with a new coach here, new play style, new opportunities, new opportunities, we just feel as if um, that losing streak will be ended, and we feel like we will win those games against Iona. Along with Iona, I feel like just going to year, we, we can compete with anybody, we can play with anybody, I feel like. We definitely see a MAC championship coming up soon with this program, and uh, we got a lot of high hopes with this team. We've had uh, tough battles with him in the past, and uh, I feel like uh, Coach Shea is our new coach to get us over the hump. So, I'll f Coach Sha, get us over the hump. So, we even now. We even. Are we even? We even. So I feel like he'll get us over the hump to beat Iona. So I feel like uh, it's a new beginning. I'm excited. Stay, you stay. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, 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 stay. So I wanted them to answer that question because the seniors on the team, these are the leaders, and I believe in them, and they believe in me. And we had a great talk yesterday, and I can say this: we definitely gonna beat them. All right? Very bad prediction, I know that, but I got confidence in my guys. Uh, coach, right here. Right here. There you go. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm a St. Peter's athlete as well, soccer team. Hey. But um, I have a question for you. Uh, what mentality are you bringing to the student athlete population here at St. Peter's? It's a good question. I hope to bring a lot of enthusiastic, and I hope to bring a lot of passion. Determination, hard work. I told these guys yesterday, with me, there's only two things I care about. I care about doing things the right way and playing hard. If you do things the right way and play hard, take no shortcuts, build a foundation, everything will go well. So that's what I hope to bring. Shane uh, Juan Nortes again. Uh, talk about uh, the timetable for the next couple of weeks and months as far as putting your staff together, as far as assistant coaches, do you have people in mind? <laughs> Another good question. To tell you the truth, it's been um, so real for me. You know, things happen really quick. Um, I have some guys in mind. But right now, I'm just worried about these guys right here. That's the only thing that matters to me. I'm not really worried about staff at this moment. Um, I know next week is recruiting week. So I got to get probably one or two guys in to help me with that. But right now, I'm worried about coming in here and making sure these guys have a great experience, making sure my seniors go out with a bang. And that's the most important thing to me right now. Uh, 
uh, that'll be it for the Q&A. Thank you. We done? Ladies and gentlemen, start of a new era. Thank you, Coach, and go Peacocks. Thank you.